Hi guys, what's up? Tim here. So in this video I want to show you my DIY um, surveillance camera that I built with a Raspberry Pi and a webcam. So uh, yeah, I made this project for fun uh, or yeah, not absolutely not completely for fun. I want to have um, a surveillance camera what I can put outside of the house and to in order to uh, monitor the entrance and also maybe to monitor the rooms here in the house and um, yeah so I built this project with a Raspberry Pi and a webcam so and I want to show you real quick how this looks like so uh, there's Cooper he is uh, chilling <laughs> and uh, yeah so this is oh god damn it so this is uh, the project here you can see this is the Raspberry Pi um, and I made a custom uh, software for this Raspberry Pi that's running on, or, or I made a um, software that's running on the Raspberry Pi and here you can see here is a webcam so this is a fairly um, old webcam so uh, this webcam is not that good it's only <clears throat> Uh, 70 uh, or 720 uh, pixels so but uh, I think I will buy a new webcam with a higher resolution but that is no problem so webcam is plug and play uh, you can see it's uh, USB webcam is uh, yeah connected via uh, USB and you can change the webcam for a 4k webcam or something like this but it is only for testing purposes so I want to see how this webcam or how this surveillance camera works and um, yeah so then the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, controls the webcam and um, I will show you the functions later in the computer and then um, yeah uh, when the webcam or when the software detects motion then um, the webcam will record uh, the event on this with USB stick here you can um, set it up as you want you can record it on um, onto the in internal storage here or yeah on a USB stick and then uh, what's this this is the webcam and this is mouse um, so yeah and also later we have to use a power source so for this for um, testing purposes I will use my power bank but of course you can put it into um, your normal outlet and then power your Raspberry Pi so everything um, is fairly easy and uh, yeah so then um, I think I want to show you on oh, this is only the capture device so because when I power this on um, there is no monitor of course you can um, hook up a monitor a HDMI monitor then you can see everything in the live feed but um, yeah this is a little bit problematic here <laughs> um, on the window here so I um, have my uh, laptop here and I yeah um, have the capture card here so uh, I want to show you everything from the laptop display uh, yeah and I think that's it hardware wise so I will um, for testing now I will put the webcam outside of the window and then we will see if we can detect any motion with the camera and how the camera behaves and of course I built in uh, a night vision mode so if your camera or if your webcam uh, supports night vision or if you have a good camera 4k camera for example then you can use night vision uh, I will show you this later in in the software and um, yeah so uh, we have different functions in the software so I will put the webcam outside of the window and uh, just for testing purposes and then we will see if we can catch some activity and how the software and the camera behaves so then let's uh, jump into my laptop Okay, now we are inside of the Raspberry Pi. So I connected um, the Raspberry Pi via uh, the capturing card to the MacBook, to my MacBook. And um, so we can see the screen or the desktop um, environment of the Raspberry Pi. So here you can see um, I made a script. So this uh, script 
uh, is surveillance system so and of course if you want to have this or if you want to build this yourself um, all the informations are in the video description um, you can get the script and everything the instructions uh, on my patreon page uh, link in the description so then let's um, click here then let's uh, click on execute and so here we can see now the terminal window is um, starting and I uh, put the webcam outside so um, outside the window so that we can um, view the street the street okay there it is now it's starting and um, yeah here you can already see uh, we get an image here um, you can if you want to have the script um, like I said in the video description down below on my patreon page you can download um, the script and all the instructions and yeah here you can see the live uh, feed of the webcam and let me uh, here you also can see a stop recording so when the camera detects movement um, here you can see we got a record um, or a recording um, sign here so um, that means yeah that the camera is recording something and also you can see we have some outline in the script if the camera detects uh, any movement then we know exactly where the movement is and uh, yeah so when the movement um, is there then the camera will record um, yeah still the movement is uh, gone still we have no movement on the camera and the camera will, will record um, 15 seconds um, after the movement has stopped or has has disappeared so and also we have some uh, settings here you can see I made a little dashboard here so we can adjust the brightness let me do this you can see uh, a little bit too bright <laughs> but we can adjust this uh, we can adjust the contrast and um, also we have a night vision mode so I could click here on night vision then we have the night vision mode and also we can adjust the sen sensitivity so um, in this way that uh, when the a bird is flying out there out, outside um, then the camera camera will not trigger so this means we can adjust the sensitivity um, yeah, you can see now the recording has stopped. Um, let's wait until we get a new one. And also, of course, you can um, set this up in the in the script. It's really easy when you open the script. So when you download my script here, then you can adjust this. And if you have a fancy 4K camera, let's say, then you can easily adjust this in the script. There are two lines. Um, I have a full description in on my Patreon page, link in the description down below, um, how you can adjust this. Um, so yeah, this is um, a really cheap, really Really old uh, camera just for testing purposes but um, yeah if you have a good 4k camera or I don't know an um, HD camera then you can easily adjust this and also you can adjust the size here and yeah you can leave the thing on um, for days for weeks then of course you have to put uh, um, your Raspberry Pi in a real in a power outlet uh, and not with the power bank and of course now no car is coming here uh today is uh, sunday here in germany and uh, yeah um, all the people are um home and <laughs> don't go outside and come on we need one car so that we can uh, finish the video here <laughs> so uh, or one person so but um yeah i think this is really cool so um it is uh, really easy to make so the Raspberry Pi is really cheap you can um, use uh, I have here a Raspberry Pi model 3 so this or this is um, Raspberry Pi model 3 plus uh, but you can use um, a 4 or a 5 but yeah it runs on almost any Raspberry Pi version um and uh yeah so this is um relatively easy to install um you only have to install a few libraries a few drivers for the camera and then um, the script and yeah that's pretty much it so let's wait on another car here <laughs> and there's a car you can see um yeah you can see the outline so 
the script uh, or the camera um, outlines the movement if there were, were a person that walking down the street for example um, then the um, software will outline the person or if there are two two person uh, two people then um, yeah the software will outline the two people and so on and so forth but yeah this is uh, really cool i think and um yeah so and if you have any questions about um this uh, software or my project here then uh, please let me know in the comments down below and also yeah if you uh like this if you find this interesting um if you learned something in the video then please press the thumbs up button and also yeah subscribe to the youtube channel and there you can see there's a person walking and you can see the camera um outlining the person this works really really good and um so now you can see we still have the recording button or the recording um label there that means that the camera is uh, recording and producing a video file so the video file gets uh, saved on the usb stick like i said in mp4 uh, format so um, you can uh, use it and review it and um, yeah it also has a date date stamp date and uh, time stamp so that you know exactly when the file is produced when there were any movement when the camera um, detects movement when the camera records a video file and come on one more i, I this is so cool <laughs> and yeah maybe i will put it on um, the entrance of the house here so let's see come on one more <laughs> we need one more ah this is really cool yeah you find all the links in the video description down below um, check it out if you want to um, recreate this uh, yeah you can do this so only thing you need a Raspberry Pi there is another car and yeah really cool so I think um, yeah that's it for the video now you know exactly how this um, surveillance camera works and how easy it is to set up and um, yeah, how uh, good this works so if you have any questions about the pro uh, about the project then let me know in the comments down below I will try to answer all your questions as soon as I can, all the links in the video description down below. And if you found the video informative, um, if you like the video, then please press the thumbs up button and yeah, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will publish uh, more um, really cool uh, projects, especially with the Raspberry Pi. I already um, made a project or I am currently um, in the process of making a new project and this is really cool really interesting so yeah please subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, yeah so then that's it thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys